What's up guys, Jay Vincent here on another long drive and get a lot of ideas in my head and I figured they would be good talking points. So I was just uh, talking with a Patreon member of mine and um, we were talking about variables of his approach to change in order to add some size. Um, he's, he's about 140 something pounds. He's been up to about 170 at the point, but you know, finding it hard to add muscle tissue and stay lean at the same time. And it occurred to me, it's a very, it was a very similar situation to one of my clients I had in the past who, uh, had been training for a, a long time, um, several, several years. And the best he could do was about 190 pounds. Couldn't really add much more size than that without getting fat. And um, he played with the calories, played with training volume, training frequency, trying to do more. And it wasn't until a good friend of mine who knew him, a good friend of mine is a, is a miles. barber, who knew him, uh, recommended him to me. Just for the sake, if he wanted to be able to, to fix his joint pain, he, would, he also wanted to put on some size, but uh, my good friend was explaining to him how the, the process I take is, is safe, more efficient, um, and generally more effective. So he came into me at about 190 pounds. He had tried everything to add tissue. He tried increasing protein, mass gainers. He's very disciplined with his diet. Um, you know, he was eating adequate protein, playing with the calories, couldn't put on it more muscle tissue. So. I explained to him what to do, and I told him to trust the process and be patient. He was a very disciplined individual, always meal prepped, did the work, trusted the process. Sam is now 205 pounds in lean condition, probably about 10%, 11% body fat. It took him one and a half to two years of training with me to add that much tissue. But 